Hello everyone, welcome to Semiconductor. Today's topic is packet irrelevancy failure. Let's talk about it. Packet irrelevancy failures is failures in semiconductor packets by reliability test. And there are three major causes of reliability failures. Number one, volume expansion of moisture. Number two, CT mismatch during temperature change. Number three, corrosion at high temperature and humidity. Most common failures are delamination and crack. And those are related with two major causes, which I mentioned in previous slide. First, volume expansion of moisture makes delamination and crack. And this is why. Mold compounds absorb moisture. And when package is exposed to high temperature, this moisture turns into vapor. It means volume of liquid is increased more than 1,000 times when it turns to vapor. Then it makes delamination or crack. Second, delamination and crack are caused by CT difference between materials. CT stands for coefficient of summer expansion. CT of dye is low, but CT of mold compound is high. When package is exposed to high temperature, volume of dye and mold compound is increased differently. Means mold compound expand more than dye. Same things is happen for low temperature. And mold compound shrink more than dye. This difference makes delamination and crack. Other causes include low adhesion strength at the material interface. For example, low adhesion strength between dye and mold compound, or low material strength, for example, low material strength of dye and mold compound. So, some solutions include using high moisture resistance mold compound to minimize moisture absorption, or using low CT mold compound, increasing adhesion strength of mold compound or increased strength of mold compound can be solution as well. We said moisture is critical for reliability failure. So let's check how package absorb moisture. This is a critical lead frame package with dye and molding compound. Moisture permeates through molding compound and interface between lead frame and molding compound. During reflow process at high temperature around 260 degrees C, this liquid state moisture within packets turns into gas state vapor, and volume is increased by more than 1,000 times. Then it makes delamination at the interface. For example, delamination between dye and molding compound. Delamination between dye and dye attached adhesive. Delamination between lead frame and dye attached adhesive. Delamination between lead frame and molding compound. Package is also swollen like this. This is simple illustration how CT mismatch works. Let's imagine there are two materials connected to each other, and CT of bottom material is bigger than top material. During heating process, these materials will expand together, but bottom material will expand more than top because ECT of bottom is bigger. With this reason, interface gets stressed and have failure when this stress is good enough to break interface, so-called delamination. During cooling, these materials will shrink together but bottom material will shrink more than top because the CT of the bottom is bigger. These are typical CT value for materials in lead frame package. CT of silicon dye is around 3.5, lead frame is around 17, and molding compound is around 40. PPM means part per million. This is one example and CT for dye lead frame and molding compound will be different depends on material composition. As you can see, CT values are different each other, so we will have CT mismatch by temperature change like a temperature cycling. 
Here is temperature cycling. During temperature cycling, package is exposed to cold air and hot air alternatively. So, package experiences relative shrinkage and relative expansion for different materials. Then, there will be stress, which finally causes failure. Corrosion is degradation of material by chemical reaction at high temperature with high moisture environment. It is a type of reliability failure, and these photos are about corrosion at the interface between gold ball bone and bond pad on die surface. Step 1. Corrosion initiate from under the gold ball. Step 2. Corrosion continues and propagate to the aluminum pad. Step 3. Corrosion keeps going until the whole gold ball is detached from the aluminum pad without shearing. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.